We're going to build a wall. Believe me, we're going to build a wall. We have a trade deficit with Mexico. They'll pay for the wall. They'll be very happy about it. By the way, who's going to pay for the wall? Who's going to pay for the wall? All right, I know you've heard that before, but we thought we'd lay it on thick for you. Yes, President Trump says Mexico will pay for the wall. I got it, okay? By the way, bids for building that border wall are due today. Our next guest is a private contractor who has indeed suffer, uh, submitted bids, plans for building the border wall. His name is James Flanagan with JK Construction, Flanagan Construction, and he's with us right now. Uh, James, welcome to the program. Good to see you. Oh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, you're based in California, that's correct? That's correct, San, San Francisco, and yeah. I also do work in the Sacramento area. Well, you must know that there is a proposal in the state of California that anyone like you who bids on the wall cannot bid on any contract in the state of California. You must be aware of that. Yes, sir, I'm aware of that, and uh, it's very disturbing. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, I'm hoping that uh, just me being on your show and, and just... Uh, trying to advocate for hopefully these other businesses to get together and, and fight this. I mean, this is, uh, I think, a perfect example of government tyranny. This is basically our tax dollars that we pay to the state, and our, you know, even our employees uh, are being used against us. And I think that's a perfect example of tyranny. How do you mean? Your, hold a second. Your employees are being used against you. What does that mean? No, I don't mean my employees, but I mean just just. Everyone as a whole, I mean, all these businesses, I mean, we all have employees, I mean, and uh, basically, you know, I mean, we pay taxes here, and we do sure. business here, and, you know, basically, the, you know, the, these politicians that are, you know, paid with our tax dollars are basically turning against us. Okay, now, you have put in a bid for what part of the building of the wall? Well, I submitted a concept to the wall. Uh, we haven't submitted any bids yet. Basically, it's in phase one which is, like uh, you're correct in saying it's uh, at 4 o'clock Eastern time today is the deadline. Uh, at this point, there'll be a down selection from there, and then they'll be uh, looking for prices. But for right now, uh, for a company my size, it's really a long shot. I mean, it's just something I wanted to try to be a part of. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just ah. gave it my best shot, and we'll see what happens. All right, James, you t tell me honestly now, are you part of this for political reasons because you want to see the, ball, the wall, border wall built? You're very much with President Trump. Is, it, is this a political decision on your part? Well, yes, sir, it is. I mean, it, it is a business decision. It would be an excellent opportunity for my company, but I support our president 100%. I'm, I, I think this wall is the foundation of us rebuilding our country, okay. and this is something we need. And uh, it, it, it needs to be a powerful statement for us to basically stand up and start fighting for what we need to happen in this country to start fixing things. Uh, I'm going to go show you some evidence that suggests that maybe some of the people in California are actually on your side. I've got a poll, and it comes from the University of California, Berkeley, of all places, and it says, listen to this, 53% of California Democrats want their party to work with President Trump. James Flanagan, I'm, I'm very surprised to see that. I didn't think that California Democrats had wanted to have anything to do with President Trump at all, but maybe there's some support for your side of the argument. What do you say? Well, I, I'd say I think they're right. I think that'd be the right thing to do. I think uh, these, these cities that are coming out and in, in, uh, proposing to boycott companies like mine and others uh, they're, they're basically hurting people that probably voted for him. I don't, I don't know if they really thought this through or maybe they don't even care. But uh, I think, um, yeah, I mean, what, what our president is trying to do is, is do what's best for us. And we just come to a point in our history that if we don't do this now, I think we're, we're you know, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Right. So I think we've kind of, we're out of time. And I think if anyone in their right mind and has common sense uh, should support uh, his agenda and because he has everyone's best interest in mind you know we all want to uh, own businesses and, and live the American dream and earn a living and support our families and hire people and provide good jobs and I mean that's what I want to do and I know that's what a lot of others want to do right. and we just want a fair playing field to do that James Flanagan with JK Flanagan construction the best of luck to you sir and we appreciate you being on the show thank you thank you sir yes sir